But what is RSV and, and how does that play in? Okay, so respiratory syncytial virus or RSV is a virus that causes respiratory symptoms uh, in all of us. Actually, we could also have right, RSV. Right, adults can also have it. Now, the, the difference is though, um, for you and me, if we get RSV, it's just maybe a really little runny nose, maybe a little cough. It's not gonna be of any major right. consequence because we're adults, we're healthy. Now, uh, for more immunocompromised patients or uh, little babies uh, who their immunological system is, has not matured fully, uh, this could mean much more serious uh, mm -hmm. uh, condition. Uh, what happens with RSV in newborns, and especially the preterm babies, right. their airways are so small. So small. So little inflammation in the airway could mean that the babies are going to have all those symptoms that you see there. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, the runny nose, the These are maximized for a, for a baby. Yes. So okay. uh, they could present with fever. They could have wheezing. Uh, usually it would cause what we call bronchiolitis. Mm -hmm. and bronchiolitis is basically an inflammation in uh, the bronchioles or the small mm -hmm. airways of the lungs. Uh, so uh, in extreme premature babies, that if they get that, it mm -hmm. could mean that they need to be intubated on a ventilator. Right. Uh, so it's a very serious condition for newborns, especially the right. extreme premature babies. If we can bring that graphic back up again, Dr. Dardis, I, I'm, I'm reading through some of these symptoms and it's coughing and you have fever, runny nose. They seem like such common symptoms. So how do you know when a baby comes in right off the bat to check them for RSV? So basically, I mean, you have to think about the season. So mm -hmm. the season uh, starts uh, usually uh, mid-September to uh, mid-November and it peaks late December to uh, mid-February. That's okay. all over the United States. That's the main season for RSV. Now in Florida, things are different because we're in a tropical area. So in Florida, the RSV season tends to be longer right. and it tends to happen earlier. So we can see cases uh, um, as early as July. Mm -hmm. So July to April, uh, we could uh, uh, CRSV in uh, Florida. Right. So uh, we have a high, higher index of suspicion when it's the season. Uh, if a baby is presenting with those respiratory symptoms, we, uh, we usually check for it. So it's, uh, it's a test, it's a swab from the nose, and we uh, check for the presence of the virus in the secretions from the nose and right. the mouth.